the seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Change the look. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. This defense for the Broncos, they were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there and a line first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. The Lions hit 7-6, a game over 500 on the year. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Derrick Henry, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. That'll bring up second down. But you look at this Bronco defense. It's quite a unit, that's for sure. Number one in the NFL against the Pats. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the Pats, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. They'd easily move into the top five. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Detroit. Alvin Ross St. Brown. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 23. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Now, Will 
Wilson on first down. Finds Dulcich out left side. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And they'll come up second and seven. Now Wilson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. You talk about these Lions defense. They put together a strong effort last week in the middle of the game. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by Ross. They ended up getting four sacks in the game. No way you run three three five stack though. Okay. God, my gosh. Charles, they've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely, as one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want those body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. yesterday this is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive establish the ground game yeah remember our conversation we were talking about one of the gms in the league it's told me repeatedly it's a big man's game it's not necessarily size he's talking about playing some big boy football line up get letters knock people back and establish the ground game and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end hit that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time to the case. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, Williams. Play that. 
and forced the incompletions. The kick by Ross is good. It's Valencia, bro. It's Valencia. It's them subway rats. Them subway rats. Hard to guard. It's hard to guard. What the hell is this? So <laughs> really? This one was supposed to be here. Able to break that goose egg here early. And that's got scammed. Is that what's supposed to be here? That's what's supposed to be here. Go on answer. Yeah. Took the ball himself. Moved it downfield. Yeah. Moved it down 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 what size is it again? Uh, the five. Lions offense ready to kick off the next drive. Yeah. And they currently sit one game over 500 sure. thanks to their victory sure. a week ago. Uh, and Charles, they've been really an up and down team all year. Do you think uh, it's uh, a uh, 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 Now he's got some room. Uh, 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 that is pretty cool, man. That is cool. That is cool. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 the yards. So many times uh, 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 completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80